Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. So we last left off with um, a book to deliver, I think. Oh no, we already delivered that book, didn't we? Uh, we're meeting up with Chloe, I think, weren't we? Chloe, yeah, breakfast. Okay, excellent. So let's go take the bus there, apparently. Okay, let's see what's up for us next. I have no idea. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Putting on some music. Mm -hmm. I d decided to turn the music back on because this is actually quite generic music, so I don't think this will give me any uh, copyright issues. Though this song might. Okay, so we're here to meet Chloe, I think. The diner looks exactly the same. Indeed it does. Um, so, I hope you were able to hear the original song before here. I, I turned the music back on. I said that during the bus ride, but just to make sure in case the, the, the sound gets cut out there, because it might, I might have to replace it when I upload this because of copyright issues. Let's see what this guy is up to with his flyers here. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Hmm. The town has changed? I haven't noticed. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Oh, he was king of the harbor? <laughs> uh, you did good? <laughs> Shouldn't you did there be... pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh, the Prescotts, eh? We have beef. That's that's what that uh, mean kid Nathan is from, so let's see what his the beef Prescott's is. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. That tells you much. Ooh, that's a lot of power. They own my school, don't they? They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. 
Yeah, happy fishing. Okay, let's go meet Chloe, because apparently she sent another text. Running late? Grab a boot at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if I make it by noon. Okay, let's get in there, because somebody's getting impatient. And door, let's go in. Where's Chloe? That smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. You are 13. How old is she? I don't know. Like 18, maybe? 17? I don't know. Let's see. Chloe, Trevor, Justin. How are you guys doing? Hello. Uh, but we're looking for Chloe. Where is she? Trucker, cop, dude. Weird lady, fisherman, these are all people we don't need. Um, who, who do we talk to? Let's uh, talk to the weird, weird lady. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Oh yeah, super, eh? She must be Canadian. She's not weird, she's just friendly. <laughs> weird lady. Let's see, what has this Did you catch fisherman? any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Okay, so you caught a lot of big ones today. Excellent. Uh, dudes, do you want to speak to these dudes? Let's speak to guys our age. Trevor, what do you guys say? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me at the dorm. He has an odd-looking face. Doesn't he? I, it looks like they started making his face and they were like, no, no, let's not finish that. Let's just leave it at a creepy kind of unevolved baby face kind of thing. What's wrong with his face? That, that looks so odd. I don't know what's off on that face. Um, Dana's room? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell? I, I've seen plenty of secrets. Uh, or maybe we just need to go sit down in the boots and... There we go, see? Sit down. And I'm sure Chloe will show up just as we sit down. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I doubt that. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call... Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Does Chloe understand? Let's just say Chloe has changed. She isn't told Chloe she used to be. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean... Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. 
But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Mm, I did. Let's say I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Hmm. He cares about Kate Marsh, because something's going on there. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Hmm. Well, let's get a Belgian waffle just to stick with my Belgian team. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Sweet. Now finish your coffee. Yes, ma'am. Where's Chloe? Come on, buddy. Uh, One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Graffiti. Let's One take a look at that. Nerd graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. <laughs> Nerd graffiti. It's like some kind of equation. I've. Let's take a look at the menu. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Huh. Uh, read? Oh, okay, cool. So what will we have? Hmm. Oh yeah, we already ordered something. Uh, Belgian waffle. Bigfoot bacon. What's that? Like a really big piece of bacon? Crab cakes. I, I, I still don't know what crab cakes are. I've, I've heard of them several times. Are there, they like cakes with crab in them? Are they? Or am I totally misunderstanding that? I don't know. Let's drink our coffee and get our Belgian waffle. Can I get some beer and bacon before This I is die? like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Uh where 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 is uh where's Chloe staying? Or are we just sitting here? Drinking coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Okay. I keep going back and His time. feet are like floating in midair. Incoming. Oh, incoming? Is that my waffle? You got me my Belgian waffle? From oh, yes, you can. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Truly Still like can't a baby. Be your woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh. mm, speak of the devil. There she is. Finally. Mom and Max. Damn it, she again. kept me waiting. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Jesus. Jesus. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What that, is this shit on the jukebox? That Belgian waffle is looking weird. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. 
Okay, Max. Impress me. Well, I don't know, do, do I? She needs to show me first, and then I can uh, rewind time. So, uh, how about probably all these things are in there? Keys. Your who doesn't? Keys. Who doesn't need no, keys? Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Keychain. Um. Skull. I'm sure she has a skull. She seems like a skull kind of girl. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like yeah. you. That was so wrong. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. What's in there? That so, was beyond epic Koopa. Fame. You even made me want to believe you. What's in there? Coupons, some money. Let's take a good look at that. Look. And then okay, rewind next. time. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So with a panda bear on it, cigarettes from generic brands. She has one, two, three, four, five, six. What are there with quarters? Pennies? I don't know. One, two, three, four. Well, three regular. Okay, six, three, and a one piece of something. And then a warning ticket tickets out of parking bay. Okay, so we saw everything. Now let's rewind time. Uh, how do you do this faster again? Oh no, that's wrong. Let's use shift. Was it shift? Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's weird. Is it broken? Okay, Max. Okay. Already. Um, cigarettes. Let's do the keys first. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. With a panda keychain. Yeah. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Oh, it's not luck. Let's go with the cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you. Oh shoot! How many cigarettes were in there? Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Damn it! But how many cigarettes? Didn't, I didn't count. Shoot! I'm gonna go with seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Okay, I was right. Cool. Something else in my pocket? Uh, a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ooh. I didn't check the time. Shoot. 6.42 would be just way too early. I'm gonna say... 10 past 11. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so... Damn it! Wrong! Damn okay, it! Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's uh, take another look at that okay, parking Max. ticket. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So these are seven cigarettes. I was right. Uh, these are three... Six and one. And what's the time here? Hmm. Ten thirty-four. Should have known. Okay, you let's got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Yeah, let's rewind. Hmm. Okay, let's blow her mind. <coughs> well, Sorry about that. Telling you what's inside. Okay. okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go with the money first now. So, mm. some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Hmm. Oh shoot! Like the thing is, I I have no idea how much those things are worth that are in our pockets. So, it's gonna be either eighty six or eighty two cents, I think. So, let's say those big three big pieces were quarters. So they were. 15 so we have uh 45 and let's say those six smaller ones were five cents so that's another 30 so that's 75 eh, i shoot what are those i have no idea let's say let's say 86 cents because i honestly i haven't a clue 86 cents that's right living large in arcadia bay Sweet. Well, that was cool. Show me more. Okay. We know the parking tickets. A parking ticket. You know me well. 
yeah, let's uh, go here, Ten, move it up a bit, because we are running out of oh, time. Yeah. Max can tell time. Okay. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Let's get the cigarettes. I'm pretty sure Those you were have seven. Yes, you know seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to... Amazing. And the keys. We Your know what that is. The Duh, pen keychain. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Mm hmm. We have a superpower you and you don't. <laughs> Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I want to see that Belgian waffle. I, I'm I think they I think it had bacon on it. You, you what kind of more. waffle Something has bacon on it? No Belgian doubt. waffle. I will predict the future. No way. What? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. And she waved. Oops. Did you break Dropped another it. cup? Really? No refill for you. No refill. Shh. And now I gotta take this call. And leave my breakfast. Police hey, officer leaves. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your Fight Club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. They start to fight. Jeez, there's so much going on here. What is she looking outside for? Lady goes to the bathroom. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. Oh man. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should so rewind much. and tell Chloe everything that just happened. So much has happened. Uh, okay, so I need to rewind now. Oh, what? There we go. Let's rewind and speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh. Mm, trucker drops his rock, cop drops his glass, Joyce drops her plate. Is it the trucker that drops his mug or choice that drops her plates damn it um so let's say trucker drops his mug the trucker drops his mug and joyce rips him a new one so what happens next uh and he answers and he eats donuts and he's part uh let's say and he answers maybe the cop gets an emergency alert on his Oh no. And no. It. Well, That's let's wrong. just see how this goes down. That's wrong. Uh Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. Justin what bait beats fight them? Fight no. No, sorry. Them. Oh, that was wrong. It's getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. <coughs> Done. Two bugs goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Let's. Uh, what happened? Was it, let's say, a fly? The jukebox goes crazy as a fly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. No, I'm sure it won't. So. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Oh man, got it wrong. Let's uh, rewind here. Yeah, I wasn't really getting how the how the questions were I'm formulated though. So, let's. Okay, so first thing, trucker drops his mug. The yes. trucker drops his. So okay. what happened? 
then alert on cops radio and he leaves and he answers he eats a donut and his partner leaves so that's the one we the need cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him yep well let's that's just right see then justin and trevor fight and J joyce beats them joyce stops them joyce doesn't care joyce stops them justin and trevor are fighting and joyce breaks it up this is getting good now the jukebox, I really can't remember what happens to it, like, was it a fly or a cockroach, butterfly, as a trucker plays a new song? Well, there wasn't a trucker near it, so let's say a fly a lands on it. Pretty bizarre. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there she goes, and Oops. cup goes Dude, down. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. That's right. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? <laughs> You're a dick. Oh, so Slappy cool. Bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Right, so far. And why? Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, it's a cockroach. See? It's going up. Shoot, I thought it was a fly. This is a That's sad day in Maxwell. This is surely. Damn it. Let's rewind. Not now we know. Now we know though. So we're gonna get this done and that's gonna be the end of the episode as well. Okay, so let's speak I'm let's hurry this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Joyce uh no the trucker drop drops his mug. Yeah, so we know that. Then uh his partner leaves. The there we go. Well yeah. let's we know that. Then and Joy stops them. Just there we go. Getting and then um, jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes there crazy go. as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But oh, now it's different. I guess because I got everything right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. <laughs> Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge yep. allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. I do have to agree. We you have to play with it that. a little bit, I would say. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. I'm you thinking this power guy. is okay, having some Chloe. physical effect on, the way to on uh, Max. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what <coughs> shit she has in mind now. Okay. But as I said before, we're gonna call it quits here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you next episode. Bye now.